Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review on an eBay T70 turbocharger. Alright, so here's a turbocharger. And uh, I specifically ordered one that didn't have this, and they sent me one. So, just dealers going through JDM Sport. Anyhow, take note, this thing says it's a T70. And on the listing, it said it was a 70 trim. It's an M24 compressor housing. So, let's pull this guy off. Let's have a look and see how bad they lie to you. So this turbo was $197. So I'm going to take the caliper, turn it on. We're going to go all the way back. And we're going to zero it out. All zeros. All right, so let's measure the inducer. Now, that's the very first part on the turbo, which is right here. Get to the tip to the tip. So we got 56.49, as you can see. Now let's measure the exducer, which is the very bottom part. So we're looking at about 74.95. Okay, we take those two numbers, we're going to come right over here, already got the calculation written down, 74.92, you guys can go back to the video, that's the exducer, the bottom part of the compressor blades, and then we have the inducer, which is the top part, 74.9 squared, divided by 56.49 squared, times 100, and that gives you a total of 56.9 so it's a 57 trim turbo so these guys are trying to tell you they're putting them in these big fat AR70 housings okay and it's no bigger than that little 60 trim Garrett that I have right here this 60 trim Garrett is actually bigger so this is a true 60 trim here's the numbers you're gonna get on a true 60 trim alright we'll just do a quick comparison the exducers are the same size, but it's the inducer that pulls the air. So we're at 57.78, right? All right, so let's put that same blade right here and look at the difference. You see it? Look at that gap. See that big gap right there? Not even close. You can go back and forth. Look at that. So that's the difference right there. That's a lot more air and uh, you're losing a lot more power this little dink is just all looks and no go so I mean yeah maybe push 300 horsepower but if you're looking for four or five hundred this turbo is not gonna do it now this is a GT 35 this is eBay's JDM special JDM sport uh, T3 T4 75 trim with an AR 70 house or M24 housing this is an M24 housing on the Garrett it's an AR 60 M24 and this is a M24 AR70. This looks bigger but it's actually smaller. So don't be fooled. This is a true Garrett if you're wondering. And I have another one on my car right now. So it's very disappointing that uh, they, they pretty much lie. So what I've done is I contacted them. It was actually a guy on eBay that goes through JDM Sport. But I went on JDM Sport's website and uh, this is the same turbo. I mean, maybe they took a 57 trim off and just slapped this compressor. Because this one, this compressor, who knows, it'll probably fit right on my 60 trim. Let's have a look. It will, but the compressor blades touch. So there, you can see that it's totally too big for that. So there's the proof right there. If you're looking for the formula, it's inducer squared divided by exducer squared times 100, and that will give you your true trim.